Before my 10 questions, I would like to ask you about your opera. You, yes. you, you composed also opera. I, I had one period when I, when I like to go in, in opera in Belgrade to drink. You know, the <laughs> opera is a very good place to drink. It's clean, warm in the winter. What do you drink in the opera? I bring some local, local, okay. yeah, local alcohol. And there, it's mainly three hours, which is good timing. And once we, when I, uh, it was Carmen, I think uh, somewhere around the end, if I will bring some of my gypsies to see the only gypsy opera, what yes. he will say in the end. He will say, of course, if this is the only gypsy opera, why the only one who is <laughs> in this opera is gypsy? It's Carmen. <laughs> so I start to write one, one uh, opera with the same method like Prosper Merime did uh, yes. this uh, libretto. Like starting from the true story. Mm -hmm. He started from true story, but on that time everything was romantic about gypsies. Mm -hmm. When I start to, to write the true story, all stories were, were terrible. Gypsies have terrible stories, their life is difficult, and all stories are difficult. Luckily, I can put happy end when I want. <laughs> so I put, of course, happy end. You know, the, what, for gypsies, happy end is married. There is one gypsy joke. He said that. Uh, one small kid enter in the room and see his grandmother watching porn movie. Mm -hmm. So he says, Grandma, what are you doing? And Grandma said, I'm waiting to see if they're going to marry it. <laughs> <laughs> so That's a fantastic a, story. So, <laughs>